you played the position. You were a third round pick, I believe, uh, back in 2000. What are the transitions that Hamza and Jamie are making right now? I know they played a lot in the box at college, but just making the leap from college game to the NFL right now. Yeah, it's it's different because uh, you know as a safety when you come into the box, typically you're not counted on. You know, you're not targeted by the offensive line. You're the extra guy. They run away from you, whatever the case may be. Now they're going to be in the count and they're going to be targeted, and they're going to have to defend themselves against offensive linemen. Um, so the, the, the keys, the execution, you know, the deciphering the information at a much faster rate because everything is closer and close quarters, that uh, there's a transition there. But um, there's two guys in those two that, that are just absolutely made for it. Uh, hungry to learn, um, great humility. They've got innate toughness. Um, they got great brains. Um, for a rookie, you know, I. Hams is doing an exceptional job, not to take anything away from Hams because he's doing an exceptional job for us and he's coming along every day and he proves daily. Um, Jamie has a different level of communication, I think, that maybe, you know, he, that I've ever seen in a rookie. Wow. It just got rare communication skills and a rare brain and, and his ability to just command the defense and make the checks and make the adjustments and, and, uh, and get it to everybody, all 11 on defense, has been, uh, it's been remarkable in that way. So I'm excited about his future in the system. The Jets fans know how good of a player Marcus May is, but what does the dynamic of adding a LaMarcus Joyner do for you? Uh, I, I think they're, they're great um, counterparts because, especially within this defense, I think uh, Marcus is going to be more of the Swiss Army knife, and he's going to do a little bit of everything in the box, uh, play deep, middle of the field, box, this, that. He does everything, and he does everything well, and he'll keep continue to get better at what we're doing. And you see it daily out here. Obviously, uh, <clears throat> he wasn't with us in the spring, so he's a little bit behind everybody else. But he's he's picking it up, and he, and uh, and he'll be fine by the time the season starts. Um, Lamarcus takes a little bit of some of the the cover stuff off his reins. Like, you know, we all know Lamarcus was a nickel the last two years in Oakland. Um, is that what he's made to be? I, I think he can do anything well. You know, I think he's just so versatile in, uh, in his skill set. But I think uh, we've really found a home for him. I think that's going to really take advantage of his skill set, not only play the safety position, but play a version of that nickel as well and come down and cover receivers. And, and uh, really excited about um, utilizing both guys because they have such unique skill sets. Do you like the competition at cornerback? You're extremely young there. Young there. We we all know that, but yep. there are guys popping every day. Whether it's a Brandon Uckles or an Isaiah Dunn, Michael Carter the second, and the list goes on. Yeah, they uh, they have been absolutely working their butt off daily from the top down. Um, it's like you said, a different guy kind of pops every day. Um, they are buying in to the technique, they're buying into the scheme, they're buying into doing things right. Um, and, you know, it's starting uh, it's starting to get interesting out there. You know, where we were young and experienced, now you're starting to say, you know, maybe we got something. Maybe we got a couple guys. Maybe we got three guys. Maybe we got four guys, you know. So we'll see how that shakes out. Really excited about the preseason to see how those guys play and, and uh, you know who emerges as the as the two guys. How's the blend going with Robert Sala? Uh, obviously, you guys have different personalities, but have been successful coaches in the National Football League. And is it a blend of systems right now? It is, yeah. And uh, you know, I, I would say our foundation is definitely you know a lot of what he did in San Francisco because they were they were exceptional in so many ways, um, not just from a personnel standpoint, but I thought schematic schematically they did some really good things. Um, and then we've added a few wrinkles from the, some of the stuff I've, I've done in the past. So it's, uh, it's a good blend. Um, ultimately, like, it's not a lot of defense, though. Like, that's just not what we're built on. You know, there, I think there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, not to say our way is the best. Our way is just different. And uh, it's, in, it's unique in that it's, uh, the foundation is principles and technique more than it is calls. You know, our... We'll have a level of deception. We'll have a level of disguise and all those things. But um, within that, not a ton of defense. We want guys to know what they're doing and playing extremely fast. Um, and ultimately, our technique, our effort, our strain, our toughness, our love for this game, that's what you see and feel when you watch us. Finally, the book on you is you bring the juice. 
each and every day. Going back to Atlanta last year, how much did you did you enjoy calling it? And how much are you looking forward to each and every Sunday? Just you know, putting these guys in position to make those plays. Yeah, it, it's funny. It's when you play. You know, as long as I played. Like you think that that was the pinnacle of it all, you know, when you made a play and, and that, that feeling that it that it brought you. Um, but the truth is, at least for my experience, um, when the players make plays, it brings me 10 times more joy than my own plays ever did. So in all honesty, it's like I don't take a whole lot of um, joy in, in calling the perfect game and calling the f perfect play. Uh, just you know, giving them enough defense and giving them enough answers and making things sound so they could play fast and, and celebrate the game together as a as a defense and and make plays out there. Like that's that's what ultimately brings me joy. So, uh, like I tell them all the way, all the time, I'm, I'm gonna give them a quick call. I'm gonna get out of their way and let them play. For those of us who grow facial hair, what are the tips? Because you had a great goatee. As a player, I'm just not, trying to cover up ugly. That's all it is. Now you've went to the beard. <laughs> That's right. I mean, cover up more ugly. legendary facial hair. <laughs> Jeff Albrecht, appreciate uh, your time. Yeah, thank you.